So, the table shows the price index in 2015 and 2020 based on 2010. Okay, it is given this one. Find the price index of these groceries in the year 2020 based on 2015. So, first we listed out what we have so that we can see what we can do with the given clues. So, here we have index of price of so year so year of what 15 over the base is p10 time 100 is equal to so 15 base 2010 is 125 and then index of here is p20 divided by p10 time 100 is equal to here 140 why? Because the base given is P10. So, find I is equal to P price of 20 divided by price of 15 times 100. So, this is how we calculate index. We take what we want over the base time 100. So, here, this is the given. These two clues are given and this is what they wanted us to find. So you see here, we want to get P20 here and we want to get P15 here. So in the clues, after you write out the formula, you can see that you can get P20 here and you can get P15 from here. So we get P15 and P20 from this formula. So for the first one, we want to get P15 right here. here you can get P15 from here is equal to when you want to only get P15, you must bring this P10 and 100 to the other side. So here, 125. So divide P10 is equal to multiply P10 because you bring it to this side. So divide 100 and then this is P15. For P20 is equal to, so if you want to get P20, then you take 140. Multiply by, so here again, P10, we bring it to the other side, we must multiply. So, P10 divided by 100, because this one is multiplied 100, so we divide with 100. So, now we have P15, P20, we can do this equation. And if you see here, P10 and P10 can be uh, eliminated later on, so you, you don't have to worry about the value of P10. So, I is equal to... P20 is 140 times P10 over 100 divided. So P15 is 125 times P10 over 100 times 100. So we get, so P10 and P10 can be cancelled out. 100 and 100 can also be cancelled out. So we are left with 140 divided by 125 times 100. So we get 1, 1, 2. So we can say that the price of 2020 based on 2015, so increased by 12%. So here, 112 compared to the base is 100, so 12%. The premium insurance payment, so payment 2016 increased as much as 5%. Compared to 2011. So we know increase 5% must be. Uh, is referring to the index. So increase by 5% mean index of the price in 2016. Compared to P11 times 100% is equal to 105. So increase 5% mean, means we add 5 to the index. Alright. In the year 2018, so index of, so 2018, the premium increased again as much as 10% compared to 2011. So we know index in 2018, which means P18 divided by P11, increased as much as 10% means 110%. Find the premium insurance index in 2018 
compared to 2016. So, what is the index of P18 over P16 times 100? This is the index of P18 over P16. So, this is given. This one, this one is given. So, this is what we wanted to find. So, here you see we want P18 and P16 so that we can make the calculation. And you see here we have P18 here and we have P16 here. So, we just find P18 from here and P16 from here and just substitute. So here P16, P16 is equal to, if we want only P16, we must bring this P11 and 100 to the other side. So we get 105. This one divided by P11 will become multiply P11 and here will become divided by 100. And for P18, P18 is equal to, we have 110 times. So we bring P11 here. So times P11 divided by here will become 100. So now we have P16 and P18. Then we can put it inside the formula. And you see here, you don't have to worry about P11 because uh, when we divide later on, we can see P11 will be cancelled out. So here, index is equal to P18 over P16 times 100 is equal to, so P18 is 100 times time, uh, P11 over 100. And P16 is 105 times P11 divided by 100. So you see here, P11 can be cancelled out. I'm sorry, multiply by 100. So 100 can also be cancelled out. So we are left with 110 divided by 105 times 100. So we get 104.76. So we can see that the insurance increased by 4.76% uh, from year 18 compared to year uh, 2016.